Hello everyone. Today I'm sharing with you my third DT project for Trezors Deluxe and today I am showing you an altered wine box. Um, some of you may recall, I think it was last month I found a wooden wine box at the thrift store and um, I've altered it up and this is what my project is. I first covered it all in book paper, decoupaged it, went over the top of it um, with a clear matte finish but I left the actual black lid um, because I like the effect it gave. I've, these aren't normal colours that I would use in a project but I'm quite happy with how it turned out. It's, um, I guess a lot of people would call this mm, like a Parisian type look um, with the pinks and the blacks. To me, well, you know, I just like it. I think it's a blinged up box. So what I've done on the top here, I have a lovely lace and unfortunately I can't really show you many of the laces I've used because I pretty well use them all on this um, <clears throat> On this project so I, I will show you what I have but um, apart from that you know it's going to be a bit difficult this particular lace here it, it had another part see a lot of them have been cut so I've covered the lid with this um, lovely lace across the top here and what I will do is I'll put a link on the screen to the lace so you can go and have a look if you're interested. That might be a good idea. So I've put one strip going one way and one strip going the opposite way. Then I have used a necklace and cut it up and put two pe a piece on either side. I've used the beautiful pink flower from Trezors Deluxe and then I've cut a certain lace up, uh, the one that's covering the base of the box and this is what I ended up with and then I've just made it you know gathered it up and made it into a flower and that's what's sat on top there. This beautiful jewel in the center is one that Jude sent me um, almost probably over a year ago now. Thank you Jude for that. I have these lovely um, pearly pieces like they're from Louisa. Thank you, Louisa. I have the Trezors Deluxe Roses in the front there, and I think they look beautiful with the little gold tips. Once again, I'm using gold and silver. I have some lovely calla lilies I got from Irene. Um, I've put some half back pearls just sporadically around the top there, and then I've curled some ribbon and, um, you know, just placed it around. I have some of the lovely gold applique pieces under the back here. I have some sparkly beads under there and under there. Some little off cuts of lace here and some little acrylic leaves that I found at Christmas time last year in the front. On the top of the box here I've used some uh, bling mesh just cut into a strip. I normally burn or singe the edges of that stuff and it you know gives a nice clean finish but for some reason the black one won't do it so if you see the little bits that's why usually I would um, singe the edges and the front of the box is pretty much the same as all the way around apart from this time so all the way around the box this is the other part of this particular lace here um, I think how it went. It sort of went like that. And this is the lace I referred to as a mermaid lace when I first got my DT package. So that goes all the way around the box. I have a bit of black ribbon around the base that Jean sent me. Thank you, Jean. Some more mesh bling. A jewelry piece just cut up and placed around the lock, but a little bit of a distance away because we need to be able to comfortably open the lock. I have this gorgeous leaf trim here that I absolutely adore on either side and also this beautiful one which I do have some left if I can just find it. Here we go. This lovely trim just on either side of the lock there as well. There we go. Okay and that's pretty much what I've done around the whole of the box. On the inside of the box 
it's just decoupaged with dictionary paper on the base there I've used this part here is the rest see the top part of this lace here I've just used the offcuts to hold up the lid and keep it nice and strong and on the top on the lid we have the beautiful pink applique from Tresors Deluxe and then I've placed a little bit of the gold applique trim over the top I absolutely love that one and then I've used uh, where was it this particular lace here I've just cut some pieces these little end pieces off here and placed it around and then one of the circular pieces which is the top part of the lace at the top here so it gives a nice decorative finish and then just a little bit more bling around all of the top of the box and this is the box that I will be storing my beautiful Trezors Deluxe laces in or what's left of them <laughs> And I will be keeping them safely in this box so I know exactly where they are. And the little bits as well. Still got to use two pieces of that. I did make this box a little while ago now so waiting for the right project for that. And there we go. My lovely laces have their own little house. So I hope you like my altered wine box this month and when I was um when I'd finished this I was sort of putting the laces inside and I you know from cutting up all the laces I had ended up with a little bag full of pieces of lace that I'd trimmed off here and there and I thought you know I love to use my bits and pieces what can I use that for and so I made something and I will just get it for you and show you okay so this is what I've made I've made a mini bunting banner with all my little scrap pieces that I had left from my three projects for July and it's uh, I think there's about ten one two three four five six seven eight nine there's ten little buntings on this banner and they're all a little bit different and all I did to make the banner was get a sheet of dictionary paper folded it in half and um, folded it in half and cut out a triangle a triangle sorry of that size it's only tiny and then I opened up the triangle and got a little bit of this netting curtain netting and put it inside glued it shut and then just trimmed it and left it about a centimetre around the edge uh, and then I just decorated it ran a strip of ribbon across the back and a little loop and bow at either end and it was done so I will show you each of the little buntings this is the first one this was a piece of uh, coffee dyed um, trim from that lovely Fleur de Lis piece that I had so I popped it there on each of the buntings I've used some silver gl glass glitter and then some mixed um, very small beads that I found at a thrift store so that keeps them all in common that way on each center part I've just got a little button that I've um, glued on there and that's the next one same sort of thing just some glitter glass and some beading in odd spots around it and there's that fleur de lis once, once again and the little mermaid tail at the bottom this is a little love heart that Maggie sent me thank you Maggie this is a little off cut of the gold trim that I love so much and another piece of trim down here with the glitter and the beading and then we have that lovely trim the circular one this is the top of the long leaf one that I like it's just on top oh and a little doodad from Maggie as well thank you Maggie 
and then the next one is the bottom half of a fleur de lay I love the way the glitter glitters too and then we have the top of a fleur de lay with some more of that beautiful gold trim and there we go another one here it's got two different lace pieces and just a little um, doodad flower that was my own in the center of that one and there's a couple more off cuts of lace and then the last one is two different laces again and the golds and the silvers mixed together and this is glitter glass actually like this is the same as on on this one but it tends to take on the color of the surrounding things a little bit because it looks more silver here and more gold here but it's the exact same one so there's my little miniature bunting banner I've just put a little gold ribbon at each end and then behind it I've put a loop so I can put it on my shelf and just a sparkle that Louisa sent me behind thank you Louisa and there we have it I will be hanging this on my shelf and it's a lovely little size not too big and a wonderful wonderful way to use up all your lovely um, end pieces of lace especially if they're you know laces and trims that you really really love you can um, you get to enjoy them so there we go I'll put it like that and you'll be able to see them all like that how's that okay I hope you've really enjoyed my projects for July um, I should be receiving my August design team package shortly so that will be fun to play with and um, I look forward to making some more projects in August with the lovely products from Trezors Deluxe. I will put a link below to the uh, website and the et Etsy store and also to the Facebook page where you will see if you follow them on Facebook you will see all the other designers um, projects as well and don't forget the blog designers because they have some wonderful projects really wonderful projects okay thank you so much for joining me today bye